Here are my pickups for today, um, Friday. Uh, this represents about $146 in spending by me. There's some decent stuff here. No games, unfortunately. The only thing I got that were even partially game related today, uh, which I'm not really having about, is it's like a GameStop adapter that's good for like the Advance, DS, SP, whatever. And then I got a PSP um, 100 uh, power supply. That's it, games. Um, for $68, uh, I went to a consignment shop and I got this Fabergé Vanity Quartet and uh, I know I can sell each of these for 15 to $20 um, and I have other ones that you might hear like big drills and stuff going on I don't know if my microphone's picking up so there's somebody doing work here today anyway uh, I know each one of these I can sell for 50 to 20 um, by themselves so I'm gonna and I have other loose ones that I pick up from time to time so when I do perfume I'm going to make lots of like two of, of this if I have it or two. I know I have Tigress. I'll do two Tigress and that'll bump the price and make it an easier sale. And then the buyer won't ha I won't have to figure in, uh, factor in shipping so much. Um, I bought this. I never heard of this. It's called Red Garter. Geratier. Uh, whatever. Something red. Paris, London, New York. Uh, two fluid ounces. And it had like $5 on it. But it was all part of a $68 deal. I got this. This is, um, it actually says Murano. Italy, made in Murano, Italy. So it's it's an actual Murano cat, not signed by anybody. But it's I don't I couldn't find any damage, and I uh, felt all around. I was looking carefully. Um, I I had paid ten, but again it was part of the sixty-eight dollar deal. She gave me a small discount, so I don't know. I I probably can get fifteen to twenty very easily, maybe more. Uh, I'll check online see what this like. This box was something else, but I also bought that today. Um, this is the rest of the sixty-eight dollar deal from the consignment shop. I bought these three bangles. Um, on, on careful inspection, we found one of them has some damage, so whatever. We can sell these, I don't know, 10, something like that. This is a uh, Irwin Pearl. Not a valuable designer, but good, nonetheless. And I think this is Kenneth J. Lane. I think that's what she told me. Let's see. I can see. Yeah, KJL. Kenneth J. Lane. His stuff is worth money, but not a fortune. Um, I think we have two pieces by him. Maybe, no, this looks like Disney. Yeah, this is a Disney charm bracelet. But again, all part of the 68. This is the other Kenneth Jane Lane. Uh, right here, this piece here. And this is kind of cool because if you can see, it has like uh, glass cameos of um, Roman soldiers. Alright, then there's a pair of earrings we were hoping were gold, but they're not. Um, and this little butterfly um, daisy basket. I don't know why I said butterfly. Another daisy double heart and another daisy pin. My wife liked daisy pins. And then actually, this was silver over gold, but the lady knew that. She charged us like 10 for this or some ridiculous price. It was pretty cheap. And then this, she didn't know if it was silver or not, but uh, we're almost positive it's, it's a silver that you would call liquid silver. And uh, again, I think she charged her like three bucks for this. So we'll, for the 60 something dollars, we'll make most of our money back on, on, on the jewelry and even be ahead of the game. And then, um, and so that was that deal. And then at a yard sale I went to, well, actually, at one yard sale I went to, I got for $10, I got an iPod, um, a 4G one, so one of the old ones. I don't know if it's working, but I like to get these, even though a lot of times I buy them and they don't work. So <laughs> the guy wanted 10 for it, but I was like, can you show me it works? He was like, well, I can't try. I said, I'll give you five. So he said, okay, fine. And I got this software. I'm going to check it on Amazon. I'm, I'm hoping it's worth, I'm hoping this will pay for everything like this and that. And I'll make money on it. I'm hoping it's worth at least like $20. You know? Otherwise, I'm, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Okay. Um, for $5 at another sale, I bought this little bag of perfumes. And um, just a mix. I'll, I'll add these in with other perfumes when I get them. Like if I get a bigger bottle, I'll go this in a sample. Or I'll just lot a bunch of little samples if I can get the same exact ones. And at the same sale, uh, we bought this purse. It's a name. Uh, let me see. Nicole Miller, five bucks, you know, I don't know what it's worth, but she feels that if it's not worth much, she can at least get her five dollars back. Um, at that, let's see, oh, at the same sale, I bought this, and this is a nice vintage Murano Millefiori uh, bowl, very good one. I paid ten, I should be able to get, at flea market, I should get at least fifteen, maybe twenty. Online, I could probably get like forty or so, but I have to list it. Um, at, at another sale, for I don't even I know a total maybe fifteen dollar show, um, we bought uh, this bowl and I you know it says Braille Lawn 
or Bissalon, Bissalion. I don't know. I, you know, it's very colorful. It was like $3. It's like an Indian design motif. Ugh, I hurt my hand today. <laughs> I fell on a brick. Uh, here I got some porcupine quill bee necklace with matching ear earrings. I think this is like Indian jewelry. Um, kind of nice. I don't really know what it's worth, but my wife liked it. This is something probably someone made. Um, and what they did was they took a mahjong. And then they took some of the, the Maja coins and some other beads. And they just made a necklace out of it. But it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, she didn't pay much. She, I think she paid 10 for the jewelry that she got all together. And including in that, was this was actually a pretty awesome deal. Uh, this is Sterling. And it's, it's a name and it's Denmark. I can't read the name. It looks like John... I don't know. I'll find that out later. But it's definitely... definitely for $10, that was, that was a bargain. Um, at another yard sale I went to, I got this phone for $5. I don't know how easily these sell or how much they sell for now, but for $5, you know, I should be able to get 20 I think, at least. Um, then we went to one yard sale where everything was really cheap. Oh, I bought, I, we bought some books, too. I don't know where we bought the books. I don't even know what we paid for. And I got some hats. Hats are always good, just to keep the sun off my head and my, my face. Um, okay, we went to this one sale, and they were just like giving shit away, um, which was probably the best sale of the day, for, in terms of like the cheapest prices. Um, I got this hurricane lamp. Look at the size of this thing. You know, it's like there's my oh, there's my finger in comparison. Um, Ten dollars. I mean, awesome deal. Uh, very inexpensive. You know, I may not even sell it for that much, but at ten dollars, I can't go wrong. Um, this lamp. Oops, I was taking stuff with it. This lamp, now, I'm not really sure. I think it's either Middle Eastern or possibly Japanese. I'm not really good on stuff like this, but it's definitely brass. I'm sorry, copper or bronze. And I think it might be a bronze with a patina. Maybe if I unscrew the bottom and take it apart, I'll figure it out. It'll say something. But it looks like they took a vase and made a lamp out of it. Because um, the vase looks way old, and the lamp parts don't look that old. I'm hoping it's Japanese. Um, but I don't know. So, it, it, but guess how much? Three dollars. You know? That's, they practically just said, here, take it. Um, and then for a dollar... Oh, wait. Uh, and then I got this clock. This is a, like one of the made in West Germany uh, dome clocks. And it was three dollars. I mean, the dome alone, if I sold it at a flea market, I could probably get like eight or ten as a replacement dome. So I'm hoping I can get at least 50 or so at a flea market. I don't really know, though. Um, and then these items were a dollar a piece, and that'll finish up everything I got today. Um, this is a uh, lay... <sighs> things in a way. Le, Le Couture. It's an eight-day clock. Um, it was a dollar. You know, I'm not sure what it's going to be worth. I imagine it's worth 35 to 50. Um, dollar a piece, I got these. Oh, here's three. I got these three wooden uh, figures, uh, some kind of Buddha type, uh, but for three dollars for the both of them, I'm not even going to sell them for a lot. I will probably sell them for ten to fifteen for the three, but they're still pretty cool. I got this little enamel wall plaque uh, made in Canada, Fabrique, and it's got someone's name on it, E. Sue or something. But it's uh, enamel. Enamel stuff was very popular in the 70s, so I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a good artist or anything. And then um, the last two things I got today are... Um, man, I wish I got some games today, but I didn't. <laughs> this is like Indian type art. I don't know if it's like actual Indian souvenir art, but... It's Ramona Gus, uh, and it's Nutka Salish, and it's a wolf design. And it's definitely an Indian design. And, then, and that one's much nicer than this one, uh, which is uh, some sort of bird. And they didn't name or sign... Oh, wait, here it is. Raven by something Stevenson... Something Tribe. Okay, so it's actual... Okay. And uh, blah, 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 river. I don't know. But it's Indian art. So, you know, a buck a piece. Anyway, that, that covers it. That's everything I got today.